Hello and welcome to another Somerset Rail Air review. Um, today I have here my first beer from the Great Western Brewery in Bristol. It's their Premium Bitter Classic Gold. Sorry, Classic Gold Premium Bitter. And what a fantastic label that is on there. I love to see all this golden looking and like shiny shininess on the label. I think it looks fantastic that does. It's in a brown 500ml bottle with a plain gold cap. Um, it's got like a Neanderthal sort of man on there as well. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, let's pop this open and have a look. There's a bit of a uh, mess on there. No smoke on the opening there. Let's get it in the glass. I'm not sure whether this is bottle conditioned or not, so I'll just pour a little bit out of there. And let's have a look at it, shall we? Well, it's golden in colour, with once again, well, not even half a fingered head. Would have been white, but it's dissipating very quickly. Um, yeah, I mean, to be honest, the condition doesn't look too bad in there. Carbonation wise, there's a tiny bit in there, but not much, not a great deal. Let's get the nose. Oh, that smells lovely. Yeah, you're getting a bit of earthiness. I think maybe, perhaps from the fuggles, maybe. I've still got this cold, so it's playing havoc with my nose at the moment, but uh, I can still get the, the, the aroma, hopefully. Yeah, a bit of, bit of fuggles, I think. Um, sort of a, maybe a sweet... Um, there's not much citrus going on in there. Well, that smells very inviting. I'm going to get it dig in. Cheers. Oh, yes. Not much carbonation, but straight away you're feeling a great bitterness and um, nice hoppy aftertaste. It's a light bodied sort of mouth feel. That's a lovely bitter ale. Good golden ale. Oh! I'll tell you what. Yeah, I am getting a bit of. A nice. It's a, it's a sweet sweet aftertaste on the tongue actually pardon me that is quite a nice aftertaste that oh, sorry I forgot to say it's a 4.8% ABV um, brewed in Hambrook Bristol England um, there's some nice hot pictures on there as well lovely um, Great Western Brewing Company Limited um, GWB Classic Gold Golden, crisp, clear and refreshing with lots of body and a delicate floral aroma Floral, yeah, yeah let me um... Yeah, I suppose it is floral, yeah 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 Yeah, definitely, I can get that now, floral It's the cold I'm sorry GWB, but it's... <laughs> Um, situated in a historic bakehouse dating back to the 1700s in the village of Hambrook, Bristol. Original features have been restored, transforming it from a dilapidated state into a showpiece brewery. Traditional brewing techniques using whole hops, malted barley and our own live yeast allows us to create quality airs without compromise. Fantastic. I actually got this from uh, a farm shop just down the road from me, so it's nice that they're getting in some ales from uh, from the Bristol way. 
uh, Great Western Brewing Company Limited, The Steam Bakery, Bristol Road, Hambrook. Uh, contact at Great Western Brewing Company dot co dot uk www dot great western brewing company dot co dot uk that sounds yeah serve, serve cold not cool which I which it is that sounds fantastic I mean it's a, it's, they they've got some other beers they had um I think three or four of their ales in there and um I I, I went with this one um it was quite pricey um, this was three pound ten, but I think that might have had something to do with the fact that it was a farm shop. You know, and they they need to make money out of out of it anyway. So, but um, but I mean, I'm delighted with that. Um, right. Uh, no, it's not bottle condition. It's not bottle condition. This. I'm going to fire the rest in there. Give it a bit of. No, I'm not going to get ahead on this. Well, very slight. No, it's not nothing much there. Um, now, as you can see, there's nothing in the bottle, bottom of the bottle there. So it's not bottle conditioned, but um, if you want to know what bottle conditioned ales are, it's where the um, the brewer puts a bit of yeast uh, in the bottom of the bottle before every um, before they pour the beer in, and um, it's the second fermentation in the in the bottle, and uh, it adds to um, a bit of the flavour, you get a bit more carbonation, and it makes it taste a bit more like a, a cask ale. But to be honest, this does anyway. This is a great beer. That's a lovely golden ale. I could quite happily have three or four of those. I'd be quite pleased with that if if that was the only beer on for the night. It's got a lovely bitter aftertaste. Um, it's almost like an IPA that it's got a very good very good bitter aftertaste and like an IPA would I really like that um, I think that is well worth the £3.10 10 I paid for it um, I'd buy that again but I probably won't for a while because I want to buy their others um, and try the other, other ones but um that is a really good beer. Um, be nice to see that on on cask somewhere around here, but um, I'm sure they've got um, got their work out trying to get it on cask where they where they already are. Um, yeah, great beer, great beer. Um, I'm going to give that for a golden ale. That's going to get an eight out of ten for me. I really like that. Um, Mm. Yeah. Well, I'm going to enjoy the rest of that. Uploading some more videos on YouTube. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, love it if you could join me again for another review. Um, it'd be great if you could post some comments in the comments box. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Cheers.